this video, we are going to be going over signs to look for and when to use spinning babies during labor. Hi, my name is Dancy Pinkston with Flourish Birth Doulas, where we hope to help mom flourish in her birth. And as doulas or birth partners, we can look for signs in mama during her labor to help it run a little more smoothly. Before getting started, I wanted to point out doing spinning babies during birth is like oiling door hinges. It's not necessary for the door to open, but so much nicer, so much smoother when it opens without that annoying creaking noise. With that being said, let's get started. So number one, if labor seems to start and stop. Number two, if contraction surges just suddenly come on at any time. Number three, if contractions seem to be long and irregular, but strong for hours and then just seem to just fade away. Number four, contraction patterns with or without back labor. And also taking note, if back labor seems to be very hard in between contractions. Number five, if an internal exam seems to reveal that the baby is still high within the pelvis. And also little to no cervical dilation and effacement with really long, hard contractions that seem to resemble even transition. But don't rely solely on cervical dilation because mom can be at 10 centimeters and baby still be high in the pelvis. All of these along with if the baby has been determined to not be in the LOA or OA position can be a sign that baby is not yet engaged or even stuck on the pelvic brim or just mom needing a little more room in the lower uterine segment. As birth partners, doulas, dads, we can consider this as an invitation to act by recommending the spinning babies, three sisters of balance. It's super beneficial to do these exercises demonstrated in this video right here if baby isn't engaged yet because the uterus works very hard to get baby into the pelvis and also can be grinding on the pelvic brim. So to make things a little smoother we can balance with those three exercises and let mom rest a little. Once things are all balanced and contractions seem to pick back up we can determine if baby is high in the pelvis and then recommend the abdominal lift and tuck or the flying cowgirl to help baby engage and lower into the pelvis. Well, that's all I have for you in this video. Thanks for watching. 